Hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So back with you a little devotional here. So I'll read through some scriptures and then we'll do a little chat. So this one's coming out of Second Timothy um, chapter three, and it'll be verses uh, fourteen through seventeen. So I'll read it and, and then talk about it. But Bible says in Second Timothy three, verse fourteen. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have become convinced of um, because you know those from whom you have learned it and how the scriptures and how from infancy you have known the holy scriptures which were able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So you see this here, this little battery pack, charge pack, they're pretty awesome. Um, and dad was, gave it to me a while back to have just in case and stuff. And uh, the other day, one of my neighbors came by and they were needing to jump and I got it to take it out there. And unfortunately it wasn't all the way charged up, but then thank God dad came and he was coming anyway and he had some jumper cables and was able to get them going and um, back on the road again. So I was glad, I felt bad, but then dad showed up and bailed me out there. But these are awesome and useful and stuff, but if it's not charged up, what does it matter? So and that's kind of the same with these verses of their um, useful for us in our life, but if we're not staying in them and living by them, I mean, it's kind of useless. It's just nothing to it if you're not going to live by it and stay in it and then continue to share it to others so they can come to the knowledge of the truth as well. You know, some people are probably are put off by Christianity or whatever else because of encounters they've had, and it's people... I think coming out of just out of the sense of wanting to be right instead of coming out of the sense of love for someone's soul because if you know the truth that's within and you don't share what needs to be done it, you're not really caring for a soul so I see people coming out of wanting to know knowing they're right instead of coming out of sharing out of love so that's what I'm doing it out of, is out of love, is sharing the word because I care for your soul. I want you to know what the knowledge of truth is of how to be, how to be saved and in God's good graces of hearing the word within here of Jesus coming, dying and rising again and believing upon that. And then once you've done that, you can confess that he is the son of god repent from the old life it's just a turning away of saying this was the life that is living that it wasn't doing justification for god and i'm going to turn to him and follow his ways of just basically <clears throat> it's the simplicity of loving god and loving your neighbor i mean because if you love god you're going to do the other things of not killing, stealing, murder, and coveting, and having adultery, all the others that come to play. If you really love God, you're not going to do that. And if you love God, you're definitely not going to do that against your neighbor because, in a sense, everyone's your neighbor. So, confessing He is the Son of God, being baptized for the remission of sins, and that's what it is, and it's essential. People play it off as... It isn't, and I don't know why. If you run back to the first gospel sermon preached in Acts chapter 2, what did they do? They repented and they were baptized. They believed the message that he gave. They would have confessed that he is Lord because there's other verses about calling on the name of the Lord. And that's in reference to baptism as well. And they were baptized and then they continued to live faithfully. So hear the word, believe it, confess that he is the Son of God, repent, be baptized, and then 
continue to walk in faith and share others to him. So keep charged up and keep sharing because you never know when you need to be charged up to share to others so they can come to the knowledge of the truth and be saved. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this. And y'all like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. When you do, you're welcome on in the Head to Tail family. We love you. And welcome on in. So thank you all again. I'll catch you all on the next one.